This is Dragonfly's Reviews on the Fly. War for Cybertron Kingdom. Black Arachnia. And this is just as a disclaimer, this is not for kids under the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Anyways, um, they give you some pretty nice uh, instructions here with her. Um, they're, they're pretty good. First time transforming her, I felt like I was going to break the gold part on her chest. I couldn't figure out if it was supposed to come free or not. But uh, it was supposed to. I just didn't know it. So I had to fiddle with it. And I actually, the first time I transformed it, I felt like it was seriously going to break. I had to pry pretty hard. And she finally popped. This is the card you get. Dead Optimus. I've gotten him now five times. Um, I don't know why they give you this with all the deluxes. If anybody knows if they've gotten anything different with a deluxe, let me know in the comments below. Because um, all I've gotten so far is Optimus Prime, Dead Optimus. I don't know what, why they just keep pushing the same card. I would think they would put the card of the figure in there like they did in past uh, lines that they had the cards with. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, here we have the battle scene with Black Arachnia. In the background, we have Scorponok. Waspinator, which we are going to be getting a new Waspinator. I don't know how it's going to scale with the rest of them. I know the Rat Trap that's core class is dinky, and it does not scale well with the rest of the Maximals. Um, and then we have Dinobot in the picture, and then... On the side, we have uh, the Nemesis and Black Arachne in spider mode. On the back, it says converts in 20 uh, steps. Predacon. But she was originally a maximal protoform and was reprogrammed by the Predacons, uh, by uh, Tarantulas to be exact. Anyways, um... Yeah, that's, that's the artwork. It's beautiful artwork yet again. Uh, the, the, the artwork they've been doing on these uh, figures has been pretty good. Now we come to the figure. Uh, Black Arachnia. They did a good job with her. I have only have one other iteration of Black Arachnia. And for the longest time, I thought it was actually... <laughs> not Black Arachnia. I thought it was... Uh, Tarantulas. Boy, was I wrong. <clears throat> Come to find out many years later, it was, many, many years later, it's actually Black Arachnia. I did not know that. Um, this one I had for a long time. I broke the knee and I put it back together with a bolt. It's just sat on the shelf ever since. Um, but yeah, that's comparison with that one. I mean, that's 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 pretty neat. Um, I'm going to set that aside for right now. She comes with her little web shooting gun. It would have been neat if they would have had it, a string attached to it, and have it actually fire. That would have been really cool. Um, but I know nowadays, because of safety concerns, they can't. Not like the days of old where we used to have a blast of, you know, a blaster that would shoot a hard plastic thing that you could put your sister's eye out with. Ha ha. But because some kid swallowed a, a blaster from, I think it was a uh, Cylon shuttle, they had to change things. And one of the things I think is really neat that you could do with her is you could actually, these are on a ball joint, you can spin these around so like in the cartoon when she's attacking, they can shoot their bullets. So yeah, you can do that. Um, and the, I mean, the way she is, she's actually pretty clean. I teeny teeny backpack, and it's not even all that obtrusive. Um, and she she's pretty good. 
We'll get the transformation now. Um, well, before that, we'll do some movements. I mean, she can go all the way around with her arms. And go up about that far. I mean, she can go bend both ways. I mean, she can elbows 90 both directions. Each individual spider leg is on a ball joint. So you can go all sorts of directions. Head can go full 360. Um, the, the knees, the legs go that far back. The knees are more than a 90 due to transformation. So yeah, that's, I mean, that she's very flexible. She could do the splits for days. John claude Van Damme. Um... Anyways, we'll get the transformation now. I want to take the tail or the butt part and fold it out like that so it's pretty much out of the way. And you want to take her head, fold that back, get that out of the way, pull that chest out. Now, like I said before, when I went to transform her the first time, this piece was so tight. Actually, she's actually cracked. I broke it undoing it the first time. Wow. I just noticed that. I can wiggle it. Well, I'm not going to monkey it much more. Um, that's, that's a shame. I don't know why they're putting such small, fragile tabs on some of these figures. Um, undo the waist there. Now what you're going to want to do is take that and then you want to want to take the arms. Um, yeah. Ah, I kind of get it now. I flex them out just a little bit. And flip this around. I want to take the black arachnid's head, probably spin around for more clearance. Take the whole thing here I want to stick her chest up inside her booty why can't I get that We're going to do the arms. I don't think it matters which way you do that, you know, what order you do that in. Flip the arms all the way around. Pull them out and flip them all the way around. And push that back in. There you go. Stick that there. And what you're going to want to do is take the legs, fold these up, and clip these back here. Then you're going to want to take, oh, I'll put that back on in a minute. Those pop off so easily. Fold. Spin this all around like this, like this. So she's like doing some serious ab crunches. gonna want to do is then you're gonna want to take the arms and put them all the way like that so she's grabbing a hold of her feet and you're 
going to want to take the legs and pop the one that just popped off. Put it on there. Spin them around. She has some pretty nice weapon storage down here. Take these two uh, nubs. Put them in these two holes. And there you have Black Arachnia in her arachnid mode. Uh, sometimes that weapon does not like to stay pegged in. Oh, I see why. <laughs> Move that up out of the way first. There we go. That's better. There we have Black Arachnia and her spider mode. Now, if you're an arachnophobic, this probably isn't the best video for you. Because <laughs> she makes a pretty convincing spider. Um, and her spider mode, she looks pretty good. Um, the claws form the spinnerets. The abdomen here is pretty good. The legs tuck up really nicely to the abdomen. Um, the, the figure itself, I would say the, the robot mode, I would give it a, probably a five out of five Energon cubes, the, the arachnid mode, because there's, you know, these kind of shoulders down there being kind of visible, maybe a four out of five, the paint in this mode, and there isn't a ton of it that you can see, but what there is there is, it's good, um, and for comparison, we'll put the like the Burger King one. <coughs> yeah, this uh, this figure is pretty good. Um, like I said my only major complaint is the uh, the little legs pop off too easily, and then that now that little tab that was on the chest broke. Uh, I think it broke while I was on camera or it broke when I was transforming it the first time because it was like super tight and um, it felt like it was going to break right from the get-go and it probably did. Um, she probably can deal without that. that right I was right don't mind me I'm talking to myself yeah, that that tab just broke off and it is no wedged in the chest. I don't know if you can see that. A little tab is now wedged in the chest. It just broke off inside there. What a shame. For looking as good as this is, that should not be a factor. I'm not sure if uh, anybody else has had that issue. I mean, I guess 
she really don't need that, but that's that's still a shame. Um, these out back here. Give her her blaster. Her web shooter, I should say. And for comparison, um, there's her Wavemate Optimal or Optimus Primal. Rat Trap, which is from the Generations line. Generations and fellow, uh, well, Generations uh, Waspinator and fellow uh, uh, Predacon. Thrilling 30, uh, um, uh, Rhinox. My Rhinox does, has loose hip syndrome. Uh, throwing 30 uh, Rhinox. And I don't know if I put this one up already. I, I don't remember. Uh, Generations Rat Trap. Which seems to scale well with so far all of it. And then... Uh, very brittle. He broke that tab on him. Her wave mate, Kingdom Cheetor. There you go. Had to get him pegged back together with that busted thing there. I mean, it doesn't seem like he needs that pin, but uh, her wave mate, Cheetor. Yep, yeah, this has been the review of um, Kingdoms War for Cybertron Trilogy Black Arachnia. Um. If you like my content, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, again, if anybody else has gotten any different of them cards, I'd like to know. Other than uh, the one arc that I got through Optimus Primal and the five other uh, Optimus Primes that I got from all the deluxes. Anyways, this is Dragonfly signing out.